It's been nine days since we landed here and my first one out of the trenches since that first night. It's been a pretty awful time. I'm not going to talk about everything that happened, but suffice to say it's been a bit of a baptism by fire. Not everyone that went up has come back down. Here on the beach, they've made amazing progress over the last week. There's uh, dressing stations for the walking wounded, there's casualty clearing stations for the more serious cases. There's giant stacks of food and mountains of these uh, sandbags um, and the water tanks. There's not much drinking water here and they have to ship it in from Lemnos Island but they ship it in in these old kerosene tanks and you can imagine what it tastes like. Pretty foul. There's not much either. Um, only a pint per man per day. It's amazing what they've managed to accomplish here. It's really busy down here at the beach, busier than Queen Street. Uh, the organisation is, is, is quite impressive. There's troops carrying fresh water and supplies to the front lines and uh, other troops unpacking the never-ending supplies. The boys have even built a landing pier for the heavy howlitzers and ammunition. And then you look up and you see the dugouts. It's, it's like a, a, a rabbit warren with little uh, burrows and crisscrossing paths and steps going up and down and they're reinforced with sandbags and covered with um, either canvas or tin. I would have thought the lads down here would have been living the life of Riley compared to where I've been the last week but most of them say that it's safer up in the trenches. The beach here is very exposed to shell fire and it's easy to be picked off by a sniper. It's a damn shame because that sea looks so cool and inviting and I'm so hot and filthy. Some of the lads are getting in and having a wash, but you have to weigh up the risks. I might give it a go tomorrow. Most of us, we stick to our dugouts. It's the safest place. We grab our rations and we scurry back up through the prickly scrub uh, to our shelters and we cook our own food. The fare isn't the best, it's mainly kind of bully beef and hard biscuits, but we find inventive ways of making it palatable. I wonder what Meg, my fiancé, would think of my newfound cooking skills. <laughs> Tomorrow my job is digging latrines. Now, it sounds worse than it is. Basically, I'm just digging holes and they become latrines afterwards, right? But with all the men here, they're filling up faster than we can dig them. Actually, looking at all this planning and preparation and all these supplies, I don't think we're going anywhere soon. I think we're in for the long haul. I don't know how we're going to make any progress, though. I mean, we could ship in more troops, but the Turks have a seemingly endless supply of reinforcements. I don't know how either side is going to make any ground. It's only been a week, but it feels like we're already in a stalemate. I wonder how long it's going to take the powers of B to see that too.